So this is a tutorial on how to use my GSC menu maker in, inside my multi-tool. I was meant to do this video when the tool got released, but I've had other things to do, so uh, that's why I'm doing it now. But um, yeah, a couple of people have been asking me how to do it because they're getting errors and stuff like that, so I thought I'd just quickly do a little tutorial. So first things first, you want to go to JTOG and RGH Tools, and you want to go to COV4 World of War GSC menu maker. Also, if you don't have this tool and you want your own GSC menu and stuff like that, then be sure to look in the description. You can download this tool for free. But yeah, yeah. So, once you've got it open, it's going to come up with a big tool like this, and you want to go to main stuff. So, first things first, this is the main stuff for your menu. So, when you spawn in, you're going to get these messages here that come up. So, welcome, example, if like some Black Ops 2 menus have it. So, if you spawn in the game, it will say something like, welcome player to Jiggy V5 or something like that. So, uh, that's pretty much what that does. Um, you've also got the shader colours. Now, if you don't know RGB colours, you can all always go to this link here if you press this button it will open a browser up your browser up and it will show you all the different RGB colors like what makes red and stuff like that so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make this menu um, let's just say yellow so 255 255 Why the hell did I do that for? 255 So that's going to be the colour of our scroller colour um, and then for the background colour that's going to be like you know obviously the background so we're going to make that black because black's kind of a good colour now you've got an outline shader as well so um, I always tend to keep the outline, the tile and the scroll at the same colour because then it looks like um, it looks nice so we're just going to do that uh, and then the text colour so that's going to be just all the text in your menu so if you want this to be white then you put it as 111 um, but like I said if you go on that website it will tell you like what exactly what the colours are and stuff like that what is 100 and all that um, but yeah, we're going to keep that as white. Now you've got the icons for your shaders. So when you make a shader on the game, you obviously need to use a logo to make it a certain thing it is in the game. So if it's like a rectangle or something like that, then it's going to be the icon white. Even though it says the icon white, it doesn't mean like the shader's actually going to be white. It's just like an icon in the game. Example, uh, you can have one that's like rank prestige 7, and that's going to be the prestige 7 icon. Um, but if you're like, if you've put the scroller colour to like yellow, then it's obviously going to make this logo yellow as well. So um, it's up to you what you choose. I've put a couple of options in here for you to choose, or so you can look on Google. There's shitloads of shaders that people have released on Seven Sins and stuff like that. Um, so we're just going to keep that white. Now you can choose the menu positions. So if you want it on the right, in the middle, on the left. Um, but we're just going to keep that on the right. Now for the title name, this is obviously going to be when you open the menu up and there's like a title for the menus example, like I said for Black Ops 2 you get menus that say like Jiggy V5 at the top and stuff like that. So that's what this is going to be. Um, we're going to call it something, I don't know, Project Pickle. And for the text colour, we're going to do up and free, which makes it yellow. So now once you've pretty much done all that, you can now go to this bit here, which says submenu names. Now these are the submenu names which will show when you open the menu up. So if you want main mods as first, you can have it as main mods first. If you want it as something else, let's just say uh, vision, vision menu. And then you want this one as... Um, useful stuff um, model menu 
So then whatever you put here will actually be put onto the menu, so um, it's up to you what you put. So pretty much once you've done with that, you just want to go to sub menus. Now this is the part where you're actually coding the functions into your thing and like making the sub menus in your menu. So example, we've got sub menu 1 here, sub menu 2, sub menu 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you go back to main stuff, which is here, this is um, this is joined to them sub menus. So uh, because we put vision menu as sub menu name one, it's obviously going to be this is obviously going to be the vision menu because it's sub menu one. Uh, sub menu two is obviously going to be the useful menu. Uh, sub menu three is going to be uh, model menu, and then so on and so on and so on. So because this is our vision menu, you can now put stuff in example so if you want chrome vision you can go to chrome vision and now that will set the command to chrome now these are the option names so you can put anything here so you don't have to just put chrome you can put toggle chrome or something like that um, but yeah the things on the right are the commands now there's not really a lot of commands in this because I didn't want to do the whole menu for you so because obviously then it's not your menu it's my menu and you're just pretty much renaming it and uh, if I do that then you're pretty much not going to learn how to make a menu uh, the reason why I made this in the first place is because there is no GSC menus about and when people uh, because people like some people want to learn um, this I guess is something good to uh, learn from because it's pretty much doing it for you and then you can just look at the code and see what it's doing and stuff like that but yeah like I said there's not really a lot of commands in here there's about 34 and there's more sub there's more options than that in this menu so um, we're just gonna quickly fill all of these out so we're gonna put flame vision there Right, so in this tutorial we're only going to be doing three sub menus. Now, um, say you've finished your menu and there's a couple of options left over. So example like we've just done three sub menus but we haven't we don't want to put any more mods in the other three sub menus. So um the thing I need to explain about this is a lot of people don't understand this, but if you're not using this option then you must keep this as test you can't just delete that and then leave that like that because how GSC menus work um, these names are actually joining up to a function that's um, that's being coded into this menu so if there's nothing there it's gonna it's not gonna know what it is because like there has to be something there otherwise it will give you error now because I've made a function called test inside this menu um, that's why all of these are called tests because it's sending it to the test line to then uh, read what what's ever in the test line but if you was to just keep that blank um, it doesn't know what it is so your game will just crash when you try and load World of War or COD 4 um, so yeah uh, always make sure you keep test if you're not using these options and another thing as well make sure you don't use the same option twice inside this as well example so in our sub menu 1 we've got flame vision and say uh, we coded flame vision in sub menu 3 as well that will also give you an error because you're using it's making two functions of the same thing and um, because on this game you can't have two you can't code two things at the same time it's just going to give you an error when you try and start the game because it's going to be like flame vision is already defined because it's already been coded in there you can't have a second flame vision uh, thread which I will explain about that so then, once you're done with the menu, um, you obviously want to press finish, you want to go to finish I mean, and then you want to press send, and it'll pretty much generate everything that you've put into this tool. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to open up FFUR, I've got V3, uh, but it doesn't, actually, it doesn't matter what version you have. Um, but yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go to the multi-tool folder, and you're going to see a World of War GSC patch and a COD 4 GSC patch. So if it's for World of War you're making this menu for, then you obviously want to use the World of War patch. If it's um, COD 4, then you want to use the COD 4 patch. 
Also, um, don't worry about this thing. It always makes this when you um, use FF viewer. You can. This is like you just don't need it. It's this that you need. So once you've got FF viewer open, you just want to drag this patch into FF viewer. Now you're going to get a load of stuff on the left, and this is pretty much. Um, where all this coding goes inside this patch so this is pretty much stuff to do with the game and stuff like that as you can see when you click on them there's coding inside them now the one that's cleaned is called game type slash tour dot gsc now you want to click on this where you paste your coding in so once that's opened up you're going to get a little message here saying post coding below here now I've already done like an example uh, you just want to delete all of this so I'm just going to quickly delete that now the reason why I put that in there is just to show you where like your menu coding goes so make sure you delete that before you paste your menu coding in otherwise that's going to give you an error so pretty much like there so now what you want to do is you want to just go back to this tool and you want to press select tool and then you want to press copy go back to FF viewer and paste that below the message paste coding below and now as you can see all of our coding has been pasted so now what you want to do is you want to go to file save fast file And now once it's pretty much done that, it's just put your coding into this patch. So then if you're on a J like if you're on a JTAG now or something like that and you go to COD4 or World of War, you just want to paste that patch like you would with someone else's menu. For example, just in the root of COD4 or something like that, it will say replace if you've already got a patch on there. And then once you load up the game, um, you're gonna have your mob menu come up on the screen if you press if you press uh, LT and knife. Now the difference between COD4 and World of War is, let's just say if you want to make this for COD4, so we would drag the COD4 GSC patch into FF Viewer. Now these patches are different, as you can see. Like there's there's not as much. Um, things as there was on the World of War patch. Now where you would paste your menu coding into this one is you would paste your coding into this one here which is called Bud904E is also a fucking pimp. So you want to scroll down and you're going to see the exact same message here which says paste coding below here. Now I've done an example like I did with the World of War one so you just want to delete everything that's um, in this one as well otherwise it's going to give you an error so once you've cleaned it out like that you obviously want to go back to the tool copy that code in then paste it below the message here and then obviously save it so it saves the code into this patch and then yeah uh, once you load COD4 or something up um, your menu is going to be on there But yeah, um, just make sure that you do delete everything below paste coding below here before you put your actual coding into this because otherwise it's going to give you an error because there's going to be two do spawns, there's going like, to be two of the same functions inside this patch and it's just going to give you an error because like you can't have two, like, two of the same things inside a patch. Also, another thing as well is some stuff in this will only work for World of War example like the sex doll model, the car, the dog and stuff like that because there isn't a model for that on COD4 it's not going to work on COD4 it's just going to make you like an invisible model if you press become a car or become a dog or something like that uh, the same with like giving artillery and giving dogs as well because that's not on COD4 because they make it artillery and um, give helicopter or chopper um, it doesn't work for COD4 either. Now I didn't realise this for some reason. I didn't think about this when I was making this tool, but I didn't put them. Um, I didn't put the COD4 functions in there. So the only one that would actually work, which is the kill streak, is the UAV one. 
but um, yeah if if I do see a lot of people use this um, and like videos and stuff like that with their menu and stuff like that from making it in this tool then um, I will update this tool and put more stuff in it um, obviously this is just like a little thing because I didn't know if people would use it or not and I didn't really want to go flat out on it if no one's going to use it because it does take you know like a, a long time to make something like this um, but yeah uh, hopefully this video helped you out and if you need um, if you need help with something then be sure to comment and I'll try and help you um, I will be making another tutorial on how to make your own mods and stuff like that instead of using like the tool because obviously there isn't enough options to be put into every option inside this menu so that's why I was going to do another tutorial on how to make your own threads and stuff like that example if you want something that's not inside the tool and but you don't know how to do it um, I'll show you that in the next video but um, yeah peace